Hi folks, Speedway Tag here. Um, probably my most exciting moment uh, that ever happens <laughs> for me in this uh, board gaming um, hobby of mine is when a new, um, uh, a new game comes out that's part of the Oniverse series. And um, thankfully, uh, Shadi Torbay has been putting them out every year. So that's been really exciting for me. These really are my favorite games uh, in, you know, as, as a collective. Each one is fantastic as well. So, so when, when a new one comes out, it's, it's a pretty exciting time in our household. Siberian, uh, Siberion came out um, just this month and I managed to get a, a, a copy pretty quickly, which was a relief because I don't think I can think about anything else until I've got the new Oniverse game that I know is out. Siberion is um yeah take uh, if you do, if you don't know anything about the oniverse series they're all fabulous solo games uh takes place in this dream world called the oniverse and there have been some absolute classic titles like um Aniram, uh, Arion, the last one stellarion uh, i love them all and they all take place in various parts of this um a uh, dream world and they're um they all uh fabulous solo games and there's also a two player variants for them as well but uh, we always find that they play best solo as they were intended to and Siberion is uh, takes place in the in the factory of the universe what's happened here is the devious cog has um infiltrated this factory there's always some kind of villain or nemesis uh, in these games that has disrupted things and we have to put them right and so in this one, it's the de devious cog, which is made up of those five little cogs. When you put them together, they look really nice as one big cog. Um, and this cog has infiltrated this factory, has ruined everything. Uh, all the machines in the factory uh, have been affected and have been, you know, um, they're breaking down as a result of this infiltration. And, and the goal of the game is for you to, these are the machines, by the way, there's a deck of machines, uh, and in the I'm only going to show you the base game very quickly today, and then as as the weeks go on, I'll I'll show you the the different five expansions that come in this in this box. But just the base game for now. There's a deck of machine cards that you place there. You put five out, and these are your machines that you have to repair. You have to repair all of these. So the 25 machines, I think it's 25, yeah, in this deck, um, you have to repair them all to win the game. And if you don't, you lose the game. Uh, once again, sensational artwork as always. Um, I'm a huge fan of the artwork of the Oniverse series um, and because the more you look at it, the more you discover. Um, and so, yeah, the, the machines look really good in the factory. Um, I love the fact that we've got a board again in this uh, Oniverse game. Uh, and this is a board which tracks... Um, um, upgrades in the game. You can upgrade your abilities to have a bigger effect uh, on the game. We'll see how that works in a minute. So the machine deck sits there and then we have a robot deck because it's your robots here uh, that are going to be repairing those machines to try and win the game. So you put your robot deck there, five in the discard pile over there, and then five in what's called the platform. These are uh, robots which are usable to you at the moment uh and there's and there's a few other little things which you which you set up with by the way there's the the rule book which always looks great um we've got a battery card here which allows you to to um, reshuffle the discard pile once in the game and we've got a little special ability token and and that's what's called a fail safe token and the, uh, every time you don't um repair a machine on your turn you have to discard one of these fail-safe tokens. And if you don't have one to discard, you're going to lose the game. So every time you don't repair a machine on your turn, you have to discard one of these. So nice balancing act already coming together here where you've got to find out how to get your fail-safe tokens there and um, stock up on them so that when you do have to forego repairing a machine for various reasons... You will have them there to discard. And there are another four, I think it's four, yeah, there's four more there, little turtle fail-safe tokens. And you get those by upgrading 
right to the end on each row and you'll get one of those fail save tokens. So lots of balancing here. Um, you've got to upgrade to get your fail save tokens to save you when you can't fix a machine. You've got to hand in robots um, to fix machines. Um, and you've, you've got to have fixed machines waiting here so you, you can upgrade up here. And you, you can hand in single robots to trigger the abilities that you've prepared for up here in the upgrade scheme of things. Sounds a little bit complicated, I know, but it's actually not that complicated once you get going. On your turn, um, what you are doing is you've got three things you can do. You can, um, you can repair one of the machines, which is one of the main things you do in this game. So you look at each machine, have a look at this machine. This machine needs um, two robots with a level two level three robots. Each robot card has got their levels at the top right hand corner. Uh, this this machine needs two of the of the green icons, um, which are which are the plan bots. Uh, okay, I'll see if I can remember this. The the orange are the um. Uh, the, can you imagine this? I've already forgotten. <laughs> this this will remind me. Hang on, this will remind me. So the orange ones are the siren bots. You can see them there. Okay, siren bots. The blue ones are the stock bots. The purple is the cyclo bot. The greens are the plan bots and the and the um the pinkish red is the command bot. Okay. So this machine I need to hand in two plan bots, two greens. I've got one here at the moment available to me if I want to repair that machine. Here I need to hand in two of the cycler bots. I've only got one of them in the platform at the moment, so that's not going to be repaired. And that machine requires two of the um I think there's siren or stock bots or something like that anyway two of the the blue ones and again unfortunately i've only got one but what i do have i do have two bots level three so what i might do on a turn i might use those two hand them in discard them over there i've now repaired this machine i've got 24 to go right and i put that machine over there and i can keep i can keep going on my turn and do as much as i want uh, as long as I can, if I could repair another machine, I would. If I could upgrade over there, I would. If if I wanted to hand in a, a, a robot to trigger ability, I would. At the moment, I can't do that. But look, what I can do is, um, another thing you can do on your turn is to upgrade this system over here. And the way that works is, obviously, uh, it corresponds to the five different bots. And the further you can move these these cogs across the better the ability, the stronger the abilities become and the way you move across is uh, for example if i wanted to, to move the the siren bot across and start activating this ability what i have to do is i have to discard uh, an amount of completed repaired machines equal to the level that the cog is on at the moment so if i want to move this over here and unlock this ability i have to discard one repaired machine okay i have got one repaired machine so i'm going to discard that and now next time i hand in a robot with that symbol now i can do this special ability okay and that's really important and so let's have a look at some of those special abilities that you can do okay the the orange ability allows you to place cards from this row let me just fill this first oh, because that's the end of my turn okay what you do at the end of your turn, you fill it. Oh, I've got two green uh, of the um, plan bots now. I might be able to repair that machine. You fill the machine row, okay, and off you go again. What I haven't mentioned is there are two secret rows and usable rows in this in this game, and that's a row in here called the flash, and another row in here called the stock. I think it's called stock. Let me have a look to make sure what that is. Yes, the stock. Okay, and so that links to these abilities. See, that ability um, allows me, if I did trigger this by handing in an orange robot, um, I, trig I can trigger this. If the cog was over here, I'd trigger this, which is even better. But the cog is over there. So you can see why you want to keep moving these cogs across. Remember, I also said if you get them to the end, you get those fail-safe tokens to get you out of trouble. All right, so this ability is telling me uh, that I'm able to move a card from my platform into the flash. 
the flash is this row at the top here, which hasn't got anything in it yet. So if I did hand in an orange robot like that and discarded it, I trigger the orange ability where it is. And that's telling me I can move a card from here up into that row called the flash. Okay. And now that just creates more, more robots that I can use. But so it, it's like a little uh, holding bay of robots that you can you can also use as long uh, uh, along with the robots in your platform, which is really cool. You can stock this up as much as you want, as as many times as you want to trigger that ability. The only thing is that at the end of a turn, these get discarded. But if you trigger the, I'll leave that there. If you trigger the blue ability, right? And let's say my my cog was here. Um, that allows me to drop cards from the flash row or the platform down into this row, which is the stock row. And again, they become available for you to use. They're like another holding bay, but they don't get discarded at the end of a turn, which is really great. So you can build up cards down here in the stock row. And of course, the more robots you have access to, the more you can do, the more you can discard for abilities, the more you can discard to repair machines and so on okay so th it's this constant um um stocking up and preparing by filling these two rows above and below the platform so you can have more robots to use i think that's really tricky and puzzly but fabulous it's it feels very different to um a lot of the other other oniverse oniverse games and by able you know being able to do that um, yeah, we're not dealing with decks here like um, um, Stellarion and Aerion was doing. This feels very different. And it really, um, as you keep um, doing all of this and sort of um, balancing the upgrading of those, um, the balancing of upgrading of those, you know, fixing machines, triggering robot abilities, using your battery, getting fail safes here to protect you as this it feels like a cycle and the cycle feels like a cog and a cog feels like a factory right and so thematically this is beautifully designed okay so i i've moved this up here i i i haven't um i haven't actually um have i no i haven't um i haven't repaired a machine this turn so i would have to discard this fail safe token right i've got none here right so if i don't repair a machine in another turn i'm going to lose the game because i don't have a fail safe token here so i'm going to have to either get one or i can only get it by moving those those um these cogs across here to upgrade the ability. i forgot to tell you what the other abilities are on the purple row it allows you to to have a look at the top card of the robot deck and either put it on the bottom or move it into your row. The green, um, abil I think that's the green ability actually. Sorry, the purple ability allows you to take a card from the discard pile and use it. And the red ability is really interesting. It allows you, um, the further you go across here, um, it, it, it allows you to, to discard this many robots, five or four or three or one even, to, to allow you to repair a machine with one uh, uh, with one less icon. So if if I've actually uh, upgraded this by discarding five robots, I can repair one machine um, that, uh, and I can repair it for one icon less. So perhaps I could repair this machine for just one of the level two robots, or just one of the plan bots. Okay, so that's what this. It's called prepping a machine, it means it's easier to repair a machine. So those abilities are, are essential for you winning this game. I haven't won the game yet, and I love that. I love solo games that makes it hard for me to win the game straight away. So if I had another turn here, um, this machine needs two blue bots to repair it, right? So I might hand in these two blue bots and repair this machine and put it here. Thank heavens, because I don't, I won't have to lose a fail safe this turn because I've repaired a machine this turn. Is there anything else I could do? I might hand in this this uh, siren bot, I think they're called, for, for its ability. The orange ability allows me to do this, okay? And I can move a card up from here into the flash row and, and, 
And now, oh, well, now I can use the, the card that was already there in the flash row with this, hand that in to repair this machine and put that machine there. Okay, and then I might say that's the end of my turn, refill the machine row like that. Uh, again, refill my platform. If I had anything in the flash, it would disappear. If I had anything in the stock row, it would stay and I, I'd be free to use it. And so that's a basic um, explanation of, of how this game works. This wonderful balancing act. Artwork's fantastic. There's five expansions. Uh, I'll get to those in another video, but I hope this gives you a quick overview of what this game is like. And um, we really love it. Okay, see you later. Bye for now.